Hello guys and welcome in. Hey Proverb, how are you? Um, we're back with some Wilder Myth today. And I am especially tired, so I don't know how long I'll be able to go for it, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so we need to clear all my Rathagi sites and find the source. And these guys are hurting, so... Everybody is here. Let's... Prepare some defenses. For here. We'll have everybody work on it. Um, this is where they are going to be at. I kind of want to go see if we can't get some of these other things. Explored. So let's do this one. The Abandoned. Somewhere deep in the swamps of Sword Forest. Did anyone else hear that? Hear what? I don't know. It was like some kind of... There it was again. Probably just some animal. It sounds hurt. Maybe we should look for it. Why bother? We've still got a long day before we can make camp. Hello? Hello? Are you... Gasp? What is it? What did you... It's a child. It's a... Draven? It's a Draven, I wonder. I think we should help it. What? It's young. It's hurt. It's a Draven. It won't survive the night. Good. It's a monster. Letting it die would make us the monsters. It's not a threat to anyone right now. It's scared and in need. We should help it. I want to help it. Um, let's camp here and try to help it. If we're gonna help it, I'll need a fire. Ardbeth, can you get me some water and bandages? Grumble, grumble, bleeding heart. Grumble, grumble. Shh, it's gonna be alright. You're gonna be alright. All through the night, Zinaru tended, the, tended to the injured Draven until... So how's the thing? It didn't... I didn't make it. Oh. I don't know what that flash was. Look, it took guts to do that. To stand up to the rest of us like that. Let's just get out of here. There's still a long road ahead of us. Let's see if we can't make up some lost time. Goodbye. Aww. Let's patrol. Okay, and let's build a station here. Um, let's do Heartwoods. And add some defenses to the tile. Then let's go here and patrol. Calamity Terror Bird. Oh, I don't like the looks of that guy. Let's let them continue their... Um, 
Gravelin? Where's Gravelin? Okay, the flow of supplies, medicine, and migrants. This is why we're here, to help people. Um, let's get started. Done. That way we can get over to here. Oh, an incursion. Wow, it, that is really a large incursion. We're going to let them bash out their ways on. Let's scout this. And patrol it. Let's go over here. Let's gather here. Because we have fortifications here, so we should be able to incursion size two. Okay, calamities. A Devon. I don't like that either. Okay. So let's gather heroes at this tile. Okay, so let's gather. Let's go. And let's defend. The Morthagi have come. Their advance is methodical and oppressive. Stone explodes into splinters when they wish it gone. Their raking limbs shine, unmarred. How should the defenders respond? Let's fight with cunning. Concealed amid their surroundings, they elude the frustrated eyes of their enemy. Choosing the moment to strike is up to them. Wait for it. Okay, so we all... Everybody's in stealth. And we have cunning. Cool. We have a whole bunch of foes. And we need to kill all of them. See if we can figure out where they are to begin with. Alright. Taking a look at the area. Kind of want to set people up in front of this door. Let me grab Looney. I want you to come over here. Griffkin can come open this door. Let's have him open the door. And Griffkin, guardian right there. Lunson, come up here. Paul Baron. Over here. Ardbeth needs to be able to see to shoot. So come here. And Zin, much the same. Let's put you here. And then. Interviews, what can you reach outside Brazier? 
Let's have you do roots and shoots. Like here. Zinaru can come up here. And good. Oh, they're coming from the other door, too. Fabulous. Okay. Ardbeth. Can you kill this thing? Not right now, you can't. Can you interfuse? Let's go here. Interfuse with this. And wild grasp this guy. He dodged. Okay. Let's let you sentinel there. Whose turn is it now? Looney. Um, let's have Looney come over here because we need a warrior this direction. Can you come help with that? You go there and wait. Paul Baron, let's interfuse with this. Discus here. And he made a welding. Okay. Um, you... Shoot the wardrobe. You... Grab this guy. And he's dead. Interfuse with this plant and a brick. You come back over here and sentinel. You extinguish your blaze. you also extinguish this. Um, Griffkin. What's Guardian? Lunison can stay where she's at. You Interfuse with this wall and discus from here to here. Okay, that one's down. Useless fact. The average person spends six months of their life sitting at red lights. That sounds about right. Okay, Ardbeth needs to kill this. Sin 
constrict the welding. He dodged it. Of course he did. You kill this guy. Looney, go here and wait. Rifkin, Guardian. Okay, you discus from here. Okay, we can't do that. So discus from here. That should get that guy. Very nice. All right, you shoot him. He took cover. Of course he did. Constrict this one. You come back here. Me. Not sure I want to lose him. Let's have him go here and wait. Griffkin can also come up here. I think we're okay from that side for right now. You wait. Well, Baron, Discus, the sky. Good. Wardrobe is gone. Our Beth, get this one. And we win. Very nice. Okay, so let's prepare some more defenses for here. Oh, there's an opportunity. Pal Baron is acting strange. Next. Paul Baron, I thought I'd find you out here. Is everything all right? Paul Baron? You're acting different, you know. I've been telling the others it's only stress, but... Sinaru... Yeah, Paul Baron? Help me. Help you with what? Nothing. Are we not big friends? I would surely tell you if something were wrong. Nothing's wrong. Zinaru heard the dark hum beneath Paul Baron's voice, and things slid into place. The signs had been there for weeks once he thought of it. Increasingly, Paul Baron's habitual sarcasm and dry complaints had been replaced with untimely spans of silence. Sharp, heart-chewing silence. There was little doubt left in his mind. Shall we go? Yes, I suppose we shall. Um, I think we should go on a hunting trip. Um, and we'll have Ardbeth go with them. And these guys should finish this up just fine. The story continues. The interior of the tomb smells exactly like a tomb. Earthy, musty, and old. The creaking lantern the creaky lantern creaks, bone faces stare unflinchingly at the light. Not much further now, Paul Baron. Why do I feel this urgency to escape, to evacuate the bones before it's too late? This is my body, mine. I claimed it. Wait till you see what's down here. We're going to be um rich. I love to have wealth, of course. Getting it is good. Classic Paul Baron. 
At the foot of the long sloping passage is a circular room. One prominent memorial stands at the center, a th sword thrust into it. What is the... Zinaru steps up to grip the jutting hilt. Realiz realization dawns in the dark of those stolen eyes. Oh. Yes. Below me are the bones of Danitha Auden. Danitha the ghost hunter. Here is her great ghost quelling blade. I'm sorry, my friend. If there was a better fate, I would find it. Um... Zinaru, this is Paul Baron, the real Paul Baron. I'll die too. You don't want that, do you? Paul Baron, are you there? You know another way? Yes, you must go to the Paul Baron. I really can't think of anything. So just die. Zinaru gets hurt. 47-year-old Bloodhorn Mystic. I don't want to kill him. But I think I don't have a choice. You come up here. Sentinel. As it sweeps through Paul Baron, the blade of Ghost Hunter proves its legend true. His flesh remains whole, while a black shadow courses from his body torn forcefully loose. Without even a whisper, the shadow dissipates. Paul Baron? Zinaru? It's you, isn't it? You're back? I never left. There was this other mind in me, and now it's gone. Is it? Why, you want to take another swing, do you? You kind of deserve it. They climb together towards the dawning sunlight. Later, Zinaru, Zinaru, I have to wonder. Do you really have to? Did you know that sword would work? I mean, that it wouldn't kill me? I've seen hauntings of plenty, ghosts and the like. The one consistent thing i found is that what hurts a human will not hurt a spirit, and what hurts a spirit will not hurt a human. Zinaru, you're an awful liar. <laughs> so, he just got Grimblade. Yes, please. I would love to replace his frying pan. Cool. Paul Baron leveled. Okay. Okay, he could get... I kind of like this. Humanist. He applies poison to enemies who steps next to his interfusion. I kind of like it. Alright, let's have you guys patrol to get rid of the stuff there. Two, three defenses built. Um, do we have anything else we can do? Not at this time. Okay, so here, gather, let's go. Okay, let's let these guys finish their thing. Then we're going to patrol over there. And assault this. Out of the rain. Pouring out there, and lightning. You were right. Stormy, she says. I've come through here before. It's normal. The way to Narrow Hill Altar follows dead roads, long washed to chalkstone, wheel scars, 
and memory. The uneven fields beyond this gorge get swampy, especially in summer. They stretch a great distance, too sodden to invite a large settlement. Got this little cave, though. Yeah, there's probably not a crystal monster down there. Yeah, probably not. A quick look should be safe enough. Then, on a forceful gust, the rain comes chasing them. The rocks slicken, fragrant, and dark. At least let's talk about get not get let's talk without getting soaked, yeah? It's only a little or wait, how far back does this go? Formations seem natural enough. It's rock. As they stoop out of the rain, crack. Crackle, rumble, thrum, scrake. The world gives a tectonic shudder, and from outside, obliterating the rain noise, comes the chattersmith of dropping rocks. It is no time before they're buried in darkness, listening to the earth grumble and turn over. As things calm, gritty dust stings the eyes, stuffs the nose, smelling of fresh split stone. Nice try, Lightning King. Huh. Well, good thing we're inside. All good? Sort of, but... Luckily, the lantern's not dead or wet. Let's not lose the exit entirely. I guess we're taking a longer look. Hey, is this worked stone? Yeah? The way forks. We've got stairs here. All right. Interesting. This, uh, this looks random, but some other passage. Cold draft from there. Very cold. If there's stairs, then a warm hand once carved them. I find that comforting. Careful, look under enough rocks and you will find a snake. A snake? We fought animated bone monsters out of nightmares. I'll be fine. Okay, so should we take the stairs follow the passage, or clear out the entrance and move on. I think we should take the stairs. Let's do the stairs. Splitting up's probably stupid, huh? Fine, we stick together. Edges crumble, but the steps mostly hold their shape. Time is louder on a stairway than anywhere else, it seems. Stuff by scrape, scuff by scrape, down they go, touch by touch by touch. Finally, their lantern's cast flies out across an echoing hall. This writing is quite ancient. Sonaric. Original, I think. Hmm. Almost a shame to step here. Put our garish light on it. A stone behemoth guards the shadows. Damut. Sonaric god of rivers, words, and rhyme. And also justice, and I think just general wisdom. There's reverence in the stone craft. I think you can see. Demut also showed up to ruin doomed marriages before they could begin. She was the enemy of all betrayers. Used to read and be comforted by stories of these old deities, especially the good ones, like her. How, do you, how old do you suppose this book is? As old as the statue? I don't know. Guess you're just going to grab it, though. Zinurin bends for the book. It had been leaned unsacredly against the altar's foot, warping its spine. She opens it. She's gonna mess this up. One word on the first page. Gwanad. Narek. It's, you know, how two or more casts of light that overlap become the same general radiance. That's it. That's Gwanad. I wonder sometimes if we'll ever find a thing you haven't read about or studied or nursed a long curiosity for. Almost immediately, as Zinurin utters that word, the whole mountain seems to sigh, and then starts sagging inward toward the temple vault. Put it back! Yep. But replacing the book fails to halt the awful growing noise of collapse. The steps they came down are buried in a fast-growing boulder cloud. Are we dead? Altogether? That'd be... Oh, except if this did once serve as a temple, it should have a through door. The Thanaric religion emphasized passage, the going forwardness of 
Yeah, is this it? There is a stair. Better than standing around to die. But how do I just leave? I'll never find a place such a place again. And what did it mean? Buonad. Sinurin, come on. Sinurin? Yarg. Flash, cough, ick. Ardbeth drags a half-crushed and bleeding Zinurin down the shallow stairs of the passage. Brack, wheeze. Amazingly stupid, Zinurin. You're, uh, not dying, are you? I'm, oh, irk. I'm okay. Slow because I had to grab, oof, I had to, I... Grabbed what I could. Unbelievable. D just, there's daylight ahead. They're saying you can walk. Let's go. Well, and it's also weird, I... Hey, do you hear that? What happened? Is Zinurin alright? There's water noise. They'll emerge from the buried crossroads, just in sight of Narrow Hill Altar. Concealed from the cryptic, silent eyes of waiting Thrixiel. Okay, so Zinurin just got more powerful. Um, it's an artifact. Um, increases the max interfusions. Uh, yes, that would be nice. It also allows non-mystics to interfuse. Oh, give it to Zinaru. That would be fun. Stealth. All heroes begin combat in Spray Plane, and Zinurin has a wound. And we have full cards. Well, there's this. No, 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 no. Uh uh. You go here. Ooh. Okay, so. Let's do a stone bow. It's now called the Heron Stone Heron Song. Oh nice. Claim. Okay. And now Ardbeth. Uh But you head back over here. It might be in your best interest. Okay. You can do an inscrutable stare. That's kind of interesting. Is that a more soggy? No. But it can interfuse. So, do a stare. So, he has to run away. Zinaru interfuse with the stump. And splinter blast this guy. You, guardian. Paul Baron can interfuse with this. Discus, the sky. Oh God, I don't know what he just did. Yikes. Okay. Can we do a flash cone? You can't do it right there. Okay. Can you come over here? And flash cone these two? Now that they're blinded, shoot this guy. Sinurin. 
Do we have any plants? We do have this. Interfuse with the bushes. Wild Grasp. This one. He dodged it. Darn it. Okay, so Vine Wrench him. Sinaru. Interfuse with this tree. Don't kill Ardbeth. So just come up here and Sentinel. Rifkin can Guardian. Paul Baron, can you interfuse? No. Let's have you walk forward a little bit. What is this egg? I don't know. Blinding nearby enemies. Okay. You can discus from here, and it can't get to there. Um, let's have you wait. Oh, shoot. Nice. Ardbeth. Shoot him. Sinurin. Interfuse. Mm. No. Let's have you move here. Interfuse with this splinter blast the sky and we win. Nobody levels, but we all got close. Strap of power damage added to physical attack. Should go to Grifkin. The Thrixie are slain. Battles led them down a boulderous realm where gray grass matches the cloud color. Someone doing dragon pictures? Hey, Zinurin, old Zinurin Mapleton, the skeleton one. Hi, skeleton. Hmm. So, what's your favorite monster? Oh, why, I'd guess none of them. Well, the Banyan Man. I always understood. Gotta be a classic like the Phoenix. I like the symbolism, mostly. Finding rebirth in the little, literal ashes of ruin. Those answers are fine, but some of us will always love a dragon. And sure, a dragon's broad, overdone idea, but of all the monsters, it captures my heart somehow. From when I was young. I'd love to find proof. Maybe I'll get one painted on my door. Can't wait until we're f around a fire. The stories will soar. Okay, so we got a uh, Thrixie to the dangerous deck. Nice. Well, interesting. Okay, done with that. Let's secure this altar. Catalog everything. And let's find out what we got. Silver bark pauldrons. Better block. Health drops. Block would go up. Let's go to Grifkin. And then let's prepare some defenses. You guys go to scout here. 
I know it's a long way around, but you know what? It's fine. Let's patrol. And then assault. What would you do, Pal Baron, if you found your heart racing at the thought of another? Someone you stood beside through danger and then... You mean someone not Rifkin? While it's terribly interesting to think about, I'm not sure my answer would suit you. Stop that mumbling. There's a sound. Hushed voices and careful footfalls approach down the overgrown path. To Grifkin's ears, even these muffled voices are perfectly loud. Come forward, strangers. If you're friendly, come forward slowly. Silence, perhaps a minute of it, is all the answer that emerges from a thick wall of brush. Then... Cheserick, you dolt! They're not fooled by this! We're prolonging the inevitable! Yes, mistress. Um, should I offer myself? Introduce us! We can... We hear your... Oh, hello there! You look experienced, whatever you are. Bandits? Rogues? Not heading... Not hounding for captives, I hope. Why, are you someone important, Bushmaster? Uh, well... Oh, move it, you fool. How are you so miserable at this? Sorry, mistress. Here, take my arm. A pair of travelers cramble free of, clamber free of the bracken, their clothing fine but a tad filthy. I'm Cheserick, servant and apprentice to this prestigious and lovely woman who... Well, perhaps we shouldn't use your real name? That's Branvia! Huh? Oops, she knows your name. And why wouldn't she? Branvia the Dream Chanter, poet and peerless singer. Impossible to turn away an ear when she's plucking strings, spinning yarns, or deploying her famous fowls. Well, you don't seem like a threat. Come sit by the fire. We're not in any kind of bad business. By the fire sounds grand. Paul Baron? Mistress? The small camp settles a little awkwardly. Introductions go round. Shortly thereafter, Ardbeth can't help herself. She bends Brandia's ear. Nowadays, it's all tickle rhymes and merry bloom bops. Stuff so saccharine it makes me vomit. It's the old stories, the true poetry. Those are the things that matter. Always have. I was there when you sang Star Sailors in Elanima Bran. Flawless. You recited Trees of Looms in full, pageless, without rest. People still talk about it. Yeah, I remember those days. I try not to miss them. Oh, mistress, you don't need to say it. I do though, just that nothing lasts forever. Bad fever, fever took my lofty registers from me, my volume. Performance is such a physical thing. Most forget that. I'm weak nowadays. I lean on him, my student, Cheserick, there. Mistress? I would love to show that gift to you again, but it's gone now. Only the memory remains. Why not try a small song, even if it's quiet, even if it's just a shadow of you? We'd like it. Let's do the random for 69%. I, well, I could try. It's been a few years now. Branvia, the dream chanter, pulls her instrument from his case. A hum collects in her throat, then ebbs, then rises again, spilling between pitches, and stops. Don't strain yourself, mistress. I have a good night, I think. It's a good night, I think. I may have a few verses in me. First, she moves her fingers over the strings of the mandalute. Great rings of sound, chords, and twinning threads. The melody hangs and wobbles and winds around the ear. It curls in the heart like an old dog returning. My father wrote this for me. It was my first song. Next, she begins to sing. 
Hi, Allie Heidi. How are you? I hope you guys are doing all well. Doing well. Words are hard today. I sit inside the wind. The moon looks down on me. The places that I've been all linger distantly. I'm here for you whenever you need me. I'm here to see that someday you don't. You'll find me in a tree if a tree is there to find. Stand tall or on your knees, a tree will treat you kind. Though I'm here for you, you won't you when you don't want me. I'm here for you in case someday you do. Her voice is sheer as gauze. It yields the slight sigh of a breeze, but it persists, trembling strong. It's beautiful. Suddenly, an unpleasant script closes her mouth. She swallows, appears to be fighting a cough. Unshed tears are star bright in the firelight. Are you? Mistress? But she shakes her head. Her fingers repair the halted tune. Now I live in smoke, the clouds and cliffs in my bed. The weird and rippling water bends around your head. Night comes along like a stray with a song. Ask me to travel on, but I'll wait until you're sleeping. That's, uh, that was my father's lullaby. You, my life, I know, has been blessed. The night before the fight at Cathan's outfitter passes quietly. And this monster got stronger. Fun. Oh, this is an awesome game. I'm doing wonderful. I'm just a little tired today. Um, which reminds me, I need to take my medicine real quick. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um... All heroes get do more, get to do more damage. Yay! Oh, and the wardrobe is right there. Thank God. Shoot it. Shoot it. Okay, Zinurin. Interfuse with the lamp. Illuminate it. Steal fire and dump it right on top of the wardrobe. Nice. Zinaru, come up here. And Sentinel. Griffkin, also Guardian. Paul Baron. Do this. Um, can you. I don't think you can reach it yet, so we're just going to have you, um, interfuse with the lamp. Turn the lamp back on, then wait. Oh, he alarmed. Oh! He threw him! Well, how rude was that? Ardbeth. Shoot him. Zinurin. Mm, come here. Interfuse. You can't reach that. Okay, do this. Interfuse with the bench. And hit this guy. Griffkin, just smack him. Paul Baron, you can wait. Let's have you silk step so you're hidden. Let's have you move up here. Can you interfuse with the shrub? You can indeed. Then wait. Alright, so you come up here. 
Griffkin, come up here with you. Paul Baron, go here. You open the door. It is a very um, D and D style game. Um, it's just got it's got a very um, poignant story, I think. Okay, he's coming around the edge. Ardbeth needs to come up here so she can shoot something. Sinurin can also move up here. You, Sentinel. You, Stand Guard. Paul Baron can come here. There we go, one down. Nice. Alright, Ardbeth, come up here. You can now shoot this fella. He missed. Okay, Sinurin, come up here. You can interfuse with this. And constrict this guy so he can't move. He blocked it. Of course he did. Go here. And hit him. Paul Baron. You come here. Butler is sweeping the floor. Ouch. Ardbeth. Could you shoot him? Alright, Zinurin up here. Roots and shoots. Where can we put it? Over here? You constrict. Okay, he's now hobbled. Grifton, move away. And swap your weapon. Shoot it. You interfuse with the leather and do another constrict. Is that the end? Did we get some levels? We did. Yes, this is PC. It's also Mac. Um, it's on Steam. I believe it's 25 bucks. At least last time I checked. They may be doing a sale, who knows. Let's see, let's see. Let's do broad swipes. Yeah. And Ardbeth. After a ranged attack against her, she counteracts with a range attack of her own. Or she can poison stuff. Let's do... Hmm. Wow, that's really hard. Let's do Quelling Moss. And we got a Tier 1 Great Sword. I don't think we need it. So let's salvage it. We got a warding strap, which warding absorbs magic damage. Let's give it to Ardbeth. Okay, so the monsters got stronger. Can't do anything about that. Done. Okay, so we cleared all Morthagi sites. That's good. Let's 
secure this and we want to find an item. Okay, what did we find? We found a cloak of grace. That would be nice to have a, some dodge. Let's go for Zinaru. He's starting to look pretty cool. Let's prepare level 2 defenses for that site. And then I would like to scout this. almost time for an incursion but we will see where they go yep where are they gonna go straight to here and they're at level five. Oh, we're gonna let them work on this for a while okay let's patrol Um, Calamity is fine. Okay, let's continue. Um, and then let's head here. And actually, here is where I want you to gather. I don't want them in there just yet. Let me see, what could we craft? Do we have anything we could craft? Um, nope, we're good with that. What about your dagger? Can we upgrade it? We could do a leaf dagger don't have enough stuff for that. We need heartwoods and spell threads. However, we could do that. Um, this seems more important. What is this? Drops your speed. Travel trap? That actually looks like a good option. Let's craft that. Okay, let's do that. Done. We'll let them get a couple. Okay, you got your eye. Oh, good. Alright, let's see what else we can craft for somebody else. Zinurin. We can't upgrade that. What about this book? I don't really want to do that. Pal Baron, what could we do for you? What is this? You could apply poison, could do throwing knives, or get a throwing net. Torch. Ooh, I like that. Pearl axe, a shield. I kind of want to wait until I can get in that. How about... I could do... Let's leave that. What about his staff? Can I upgrade that? No. Griffkin. Um, yeah, we're going to have to wait, I think, on upgrading the other stuff. I think the only one that I... C yeah, we'll wait till the end of the thing. Um, let's give...
Oh, I can use LP. Uh... Yes. Let's get him that. Okay. Hey, Gibbs. Welcome in. Dropping in to leave a lurk on the way to bed. That sounds awesome. And let's go here. Gather. Okay, they arrived. Let's go ahead and let the defenses drop it down to one. Okay, wait. Pause. And let's defend before we lose all of it. And here we go. The Morthagi have come. Their advance is methodical and oppressive. Stone explodes into splinters when they wish it gone. Their raking limbs shine unmarred. How should the defenders respond? Here we go then. Our best? Um... Let's take the fight to them. The great cry they share, the strength of standing side by side, fills them with defiant courage. They charge. We've got plus one speed and plus two damage. Very nice. We've got five things. And no idea which way they're going to come from. Rifkin. Do you go over here and open this door for me? Then... Let's... Guardian. Okay, so we have you. Let's have you go here. And this guy needs to go absolutely as fast as possible. Then you can shoot this one. He missed. You also come over here. Paul Baron. Let's have you interfuse. this lantern steal the fire throw it on this guy Ardbeth can you shoot him? you can you missed uh, you come over here interfuse with this tree splinter blast this guy Zinaru. Um. No, let's wait. Let's have him move this direction. Then he can interfuse with something a little further out. Steel fire, and this will hit both of them. Goody. Alright, our best. Can you shoot anything? If you s go here. Okay. You over here. Interfuse with... No. Let's do... I could do a tree here. Let's do this. Now I have a tree in the building. Yay! This... Go here. Steal the fire. Hit this guy. 
Rifkin. Go here. Hit it. You. Can you reach? No. I'll have you wait then. You can't reach that guy either. We'll wait. Okay. Hey, Jamie, how are you? Uh, Paul Baron, let's have you interfuse with this lantern. Illuminate it. Steal the fire and hit this guy. You go find some lunch. That's a good idea. Okay, so this guy needs to go because he just keeps... He just keeps making stuff, so he needs to go in a hurry. Let's do a volley of arrows. Um, I could do it here. She wouldn't do much. How about Quelling Moss? Can I sh throw that to anywhere? No. Let's have you Wind Walk here. You are still hidden. Uh, Poison this guy. Oh, cancel. Um, can you poison out here? Yes. Now shoot it. Um, let's have you go here. You extinguish for Isla. Do a volley of arrows. It would hit Ardbeth. I don't want it to hit Ardbeth. Let's just have you Sentinel. Rifkin. Over here. Then you should be able to shoot this guy. You should also be able to shoot him. Interfuse with this. Fire leash to that guy. Nice. I think this may be the last guy we have. We'll note these two. Okay. Ardbeth, they want to kill you. You jump back here. Poison both of them. You do a volley of arrows right on top of them. And... Can you come up here? Um... Interfuse. With the lantern. Turn it on. Oh. You hit that. Splinter blast. There we go. You shoot the watchman. You shoot this guy. And that should be it. Dun 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 dun. We won. All right. So let's send everybody here to assault that. 
I know it's out of the way, but I really kind of want to do it. Answer to austerity. You got 400 followers? Oh, I'm so proud of you. That's awesome, Janie. Um, what is the big tree that's moving? An old pine wood crowns the high mesa amidst Langerug Owen Flats. Great sequoias shoulder up to towering redwoods. Thick grown cedars mob their knees. That was the thing, wasn't it? So weird, so quiet. Tracking it blindly, think it'll lead us to the godlands. Swoosh. They spotted it that morning. The apparition is familiar to them only as a distant myth. Nearness now makes them believers. Rare feeling I've got. This huge thing seems alike to me. When you were speaking, heard the locals call him Lord Evergreen. And now everyone knows. Shut up. They move into the flowing fog. The earth holds its breath. Dampness heavies their eyelids, darkens their hair. Smears of silver shine on trunks, roots, and stones. They stumble and feel a path over rocks and wrecks, chasing the giant through this noise-barren world. Why has he got to smoke so much? Uh, I think it stopped. It has stopped. Think he's aware of us. Now it turns about, somehow finding space. High and mostly hidden in haze, its face must hang above them. With bending bark sounds, creaky hips, folding legs, it gently lowers itself, fitting its bulk to a tract of treeless ground. Well, they're caught in its eyeless gaze, and a silence that grows and twists, grotesquely long. It could crush them. That fact is certain as the soil. Stomachs harden, innards clench, muscles coil. Should we attempt to communicate, snatch a twig from its mane, or Zinurin give away her heart? Hmm. So we only have a 47% chance and a 43% chance of those. I think Zinurin would be falling in love with it. Spirit and the Mouse? I have to write that down. Sounds good. Sounds really cute. I wrote that down because I have to check it out. Let's have Zinurin do this. It comes to her in a rush of knowing, the way a long, faded memory sometimes surges into focus. Standing within the forest lord's foggy silence, Zinurin knows. Quick, but with the weight of a thing considered all her life, the resolve sets in her. Her whispered words barely move the mist, forcelessly yielded. Callous, I've been called, forbidding, aloof. I've never be belonged anywhere, but I know I could walk beside you. In your name, I could fight. I'd do it with a smile. Zinarin, you're all right. You're getting pretty close to it. It's okay. The mist thickens around them all, spirals tight as white spooling yarn. Wood smells and the bright tang of sap surround them. Then the white air fades. The giant rises on growing le on groaning legs and commences its long march away. Zinurin, there's a... He wrapped you in something. Zinurin's voice resounds, newly rich. My, oh, my voice! A warm swirl of, swirl of melodious wind to wrap lonesome furs. You think I've lost my mind, don't you? It's only my heart, and I've only really put it where it belongs. 
turning around. Let's be going. I ha I'll have a long time to work on this world, and it begins with you. Calm, quiet accompanies them worldward. For some reason, Zinurin seems fine. Better than fine. Years won't touch her. Battle awaits. Do, do, do. So we have, yikes, some very interesting monsters. Not happy about that. That's okay. Well, at least we have a good place. Oh, it's a fire spirit! No, 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 no! Um, you. Open door. Uh, Ardbeth. Wind walk. Over here. Fire spirits! Uh, let's make a fire dagger. The thistle shard. Ooh. That's kind of cute. Okay. Defeat all foes. Ardbeth, let's have you silk step to here. Zinurin, come up here. Mist ball, what does that do? Oh, that's her new thing. Once per combat, Zinurin swirls her cloak and becomes hidden, disappearing into a gray plane in a cloud of cedar smelling mist. Wow, that's kind of cool. Okay, Zinaru, you come up here. Rifkin, I want you to go there for now. Paul Baron, interfuse with the bookshelf so we'll be ready and the book stand Zinarin make some plants Ardbeth um let's have Zinaru open the door oh lord um sentinel to keep everybody safe Rifkin, come up to back him up. What? Oh. Can you shoot this guy? Yes, you can. Okay, Paul Baron can interfuse with this. Do a bone lance through those guys. Ardbeth, come here. And... Poison those guys. Cinnarin. Interfuse with the tree. Can you put some roots up here? Yes. And interfuse that one. Oh, good. I don't know what he's doing, but it doesn't sound good. Huh? What about it? Yeah? Okay, he dodged. Revealed. Oh, poor Zinaru. Draven interfused. Okay, you. Um. Can you. Hmm. Can you move over. Th no, you can't move over there. If you move here, can you see anybody? 
get these guys, maybe? No, that's too far away. Swap the weapon. Can you shoot? You can. Good. Sinurin. Vine wrench. No, they're all too far away. Wild grasp. Again, all too far away. Arches? No. Let's just have you wait. You shoo the bird. Sentinel. You guardian. I'll bear and move up. Interfuse with the table. Then use the table to hit all of these guys. Okay, you, silk step, no, can you go, can you put the quilt, no, see, that'll poison Sinaru, don't want to do that, I don't want to blind him either, let's have you go here, you can't get through there. Can you flash cone? No, you can't do that. Shoot this one. Um, you? Withdraw from this. Attack this scenery. Then interfuse with... Why can't you get to there? Okay, go. You sentinel. You guardian. You interfuse with the book stand. Splinter blast from the book stand to here. Okay, Zinru, that's not good. Ardbeth, shoot the Draven. Sinurin. Ah, uh, shoot. Move to... You can move over there and over there, but nowhere else. Okay, hold on. Let's have you attack this. So that bird can stop hitting us. Move forward. Interfuse with this. Do a wild grasp here. You. Oh, Griffkin is stuck there. Paul Baron. Attack this plant and Rifkin, you can now move out here. Attack this guy. You 
interfuse with this and bone lance this guy he blocked it don't like that okay Zinaru you're gonna have to move get out of there do a wild grasp on that at least it did some damage Griffkin swap your weapon strike Paul Baron enter no bone lance this guy is that it did we all live oh <gasps> we lived oh Paul Baron you are so close to leveling feather steel cloak gives you speed Let's do that for Ardbeth. Alright, let's secure this and get another item. find out what we got a brooch we have a dad joke what's the easiest way to burn a thousand calories leave the pizza in the oven well yeah let's give this to Zinaru prepare some defenses so this will be okay Let's then go here and craft um, Zinurin. Can we? 6 LP for that. Let's do it. Okay. Go craft. Um, everybody else gather so we can get towards these guys. Because this is going to be heading towards the boss of this zone. Um, Griffkin. Let's do... Blink mail. I don't know. No, we're gonna leave him in what he's got. That would take 11... What about Sinaru? Can we upgrade this? Yes. Let's upgrade your stuff. Okay, who else can we craft something for? Paul Baron, better rope. Don't have enough for that. However, we could do a drab mystic armor. Spell damage plus one. I'm sorry. Um, Zinaru. Um, what else could I do? Paul Baron. I 
stone staff. That might be cool. Yeah, let's... Oh, we can't afford a stone staff. Could afford that, though. Let's do this. And craft his stuff. And after that, we're going after the baddies. Alright. Let's go scout. Let's continue our patrol. And this has a strength of four. Well, we're as good as we're going to get. Let's see if we can do this. They found Melanin waiting at Wraith's shop, just as she had promised. The decor lacks a certain more saggery. It's probably underneath. Stomp around a bit. Thwunk. One doesn't research mortificers for years just to remain completely useless. The wide floor stone eventually yielded to Zinarin and Zinaru's effort, revealing dusty steps into the dark. So you're still up for clearing it out? That was the plan. Why I came all this way, and why I made this. That is damn scary. But a lot can change in a long walk across the yandering lands. My spine is in brambles, my knees are splitting into shards, my ears remind me of the debts I owe them. Perhaps another fight isn't how I want to end. How I want this to end, not yet. So I wanted to give this to you. You must be joking. One of you will take down more foes with it than I could at this point. I'll stay out here. I'm no surgeon, but I can tend to anyone who needs it. Take care of each other down there. I don't even want to know what some of this stuff is. You may be about to find out. So we got Clock Stopper. Um... It's a Great Axe Tier 3. Oh, Lord. Um... Can I give it to you here? I can. Okay, so we have four or five foes. Two of which can create extras. Not good. Okay, Ardbeth. Silk Step. Uh, you come over here. And wait. Zinaru, over here. Rifkin, also up front. And open the door. Another bow card. Suddenly, a structure hums to life and begins to spew a skull-splitting fog through the room. Cough, cough. Ah, somebody destroy that thing. Stop the toxic smoke. Okay, can you go here? Tall Baron... Come here. Oh, shit. Well, that's great. Okay. You... Poison that guy. Then shoot him. Oh. 
you do a tree right here. You oh, wait, wait, cancel. Um, swap weapon. No, I want that. Wait, okay, then he can interfuse. Interfuse with this. Bone Lance. Cancel. Hold on, Bone Lance over this way. There we go. You kill him. You interfuse with the bookshelf and come up here. Understand the rules. Okay, Paul Baron. Uh, can you s get over there? No. Let's have you s interfuse this table. Yeah. Okay. Art bath. Wind walk. Up here. Shoot him. Sinurin. Tree call. Yourself. Paul Baron. Splinter blast. Wait, no. Oh, no, that's Sinurin. Um. Rubble. Work by. Workbench. Do that. Garage with this guy. He blocked it. Bone Lance. This guy. He dodged. You get over here. Paul Baron. Stunning barrage on that guy. Okay, Ardbeth, can you reach that? No. If you go over here, can you then? Yes. Sin, do, why can't I put a tree up there? Mm. Roots and shoots can go up there. Now, interfuse this plant. Uh, wild grasp this guy. Phew, okay, that's taken care of. Breathing is the best. Cool, we got rid of the toxic smoke. That will definitely help. Okay, you do a bone lance to these. Griffkin. Swap. Can you shoot that far? No. But you could shoot from here. There we go. You interfuse with this cabinet. Scalding rain? Right there. Fun. Hard bath. Oh. He's making stuff. I forgot about those guys. You
flash cone him, then shoot him. Zinurin, arches, oh you can't do that. Wild grasp, get this guy away from him. Okay, then interfuse with this plant and do another grass. Nice. Sinaru can come up here and um, let's have you sentinel. Rifkin. I don't like that you're hurting so much. Come back here. <laughs> Paul Baron interfuse with the barricade. There we go. Can you splinter blast all that way? No, you can't. You're gonna need to move up to here. You kill that thing. And he took cover. Of course he did. <sighs> okay, you come up here. Sinaru. Also come up here. You just guardian. You interviews this shackle that guy of course okay you extinguish yourself then single action would end turn this would end turn yeah let's just shoot him took cover again darn it interviews with the rubble you bone lance to this guy and he dodged it you're a little shit, is what you are. No. Take that off. Withdraw. And interfuse with this cabinet. Splinter blast this guy. Finally. Griffkin, just stay put. You splinter blast from here to this guy. Okay, Ardbeth. Come up here. Shoot this guy. Sinurin. No. Let's interfuse with this. I can't reach anything with it. Okay, move up here with Ardbeth. And Mistfall. Sinarun. Go here to protect Ardbeth. You just guard. Albaron, come up here. Interfuse with this. Splinter blast. We can't do that. Shackles. Put this in. Ardbeth. Kill it. 
you need to put some plants up here. Then interviews with a plant. Wild grass, this guy. Nice. Cinero interviews with the skull. And you just sentinel. You guardian. You grab the tools. And you hit these guys. Kill it. It missed. Um, can you move here? Sinaru, come up here to protect her. You stay put. Paul Baron, can you reach anything in the next room? Splinter glass, no, shackles, armor shredded, that's good. Yeah, he's still constructing monsters, which is not helpful. Um, you come up here, pin this guy. You withdraw from that. Interfuse with the chest. Splinter blast this guy. Griffkin, just hang on. You workbench. There we go. Guard bath. Come up here. Shoot it. And we win. Paul Baron levels. So does Griffkin. Wolfheart bracelets. Griffkin's going to end at the end of this chapter. Um. Let's. Give extra health to Zinaru. Paul Baron. Myth Weaver. Yes. Then you. Uh. Griffkin, do a thundering challenge. Oof. Ah, good. I was hoping it wasn't them. How'd things shake out? They've been disassembled. That's a polite way of putting it. We'll melt down what we can. So you pulled it off, then. Good. We can rest for a bit. What do you mean, a bit? We annihilated them. Nothing's crawling out of there again. This workshop was not the only one ever in operation, and Morthagi's ability to lie dormant and bide their time is one of their greatest strengths. I hope I'm wrong, but in case I'm not, and in case I'm not around to help next time, not around. It's a thing you have to consider when you reach my age. In case I'm not, keep your wits about you. Okay, so we got... Legacy points, we got heartwoods, hides, ingots, fabrics, spell threads. We had 11 years of peace. Very cool. And look at all those cards that are going away. Yes. 
Next. During the years of peace, it was true, this cheese is incredible. Zinurin performed experiments on bits of monster parts she was able to convince Palberon to donate to the cause. No significant weaknesses were found. It's okay, hitting them with pointy things seems to work fine, too. Zinaru went back to the place he grew up and was tempted by old acquaintances to remain there. But in the end, the past proved an unwise place to linger. Palberon watched springs pass one after the other. Turns out once you've seen two or three, you've seen them all. Each day, Ardbeth swept the path and trimmed back the weeds. Griffkin sometimes teased her about it good-naturedly. We draw our line somewhere. Chaos creeps up. We keep it at bay. The restoration of Narrow Hill Altar brought a vitality to the fauna of Cloudy Swan Field that hadn't been seen in a generation. Griffkin took up residence on a tall mountain, ensuring that anyone who came to train or ask questions of him could first conquer its cliffs. Griffkin Rosenhide has retired. He is no longer in your party, but he'll go into your legacy and may play a part in future stories. Ardbeth Moon Moonmusk and Griffkin Rosenhide's daughter has reached an adventuring age. Ruza Rosenhide has joined company of thralls as a warrior. Um, let's do Untouchable. That sounds fun. In the years leading up to his retirement, Griffkin changed a little. He developed a fond, silent smile, one that sprouted upon his face for seemingly no reason at all, stunning even him. At the same time, he began to pass on his knowledge and became the favorite mentor to many a shy younger man, who benefited most from Gris Griffkin's lessons. Ah, uh, Ruza. So she gets to start leveled up. Oh, yeah. Um, let's upgrade Untouchable. Now let's see what we can do for everybody's armor. Ruza, what can we make for you? Uh, let's have you... Stunt, chance, and dodge. Oh, let's see. How much? I have six legacy points, so I could spend one and get her wilder guard. And can we get Ruza a better weapon? Oh, we could get her a great axe. Let's do that. Can we get that? We don't have enough points. What about that? Nope. Yeah, let's get her this. I still have legacy points. Paul Baron, what can we do for you? Let's do a better robe. Very nice. I think we're gonna stop there unless we can upgrade this. No. Okay, so let's go next. Look at these things. They're beautiful on their own way, but they're not people. They were never meant to be. And you think you can stick your soul into one and whatever comes out the other end will still be you? What's the alternative? Death? If it comes to that, yes. Because having some abomination following me around, insisting it was you for eternity? That's a worse torture than any honest loss. Honest? You're being selfish. You can't see beyond your own conception of what a person is. This could usher in a new era of humanity, and it wouldn't be humanity. I'll change your mind. I shouldn't have to, but apparently 
I care about you for whatever reason I can't remember at the moment. Oma, where are you going? Come back! I just want you to know that just by coming here, I've put your land at risk. The more thoggy erupt when they catch any wind of us, well then, I won't ask waste your time. I'll just ask directly, can you make me into one of you? I've built most of a body based on my studies of your late friend, but I need your help to finish the job. I'm a skilled metal worker, and I was a decent fighter in my younger days as well. I know I can be an asset to you and your people. No one has called us people in a long time. Are you certain? It's not a safeguard against death. You've seen that firsthand. I don't need a safeguard. I just need a way to halt my own decay. How old were you when you came in during? As old as me? No. Then you don't know what it's like. Nobody does until they get here. You think you grow up thinking your elders just like complaining about their aches and weariness. You think they like sitting in the same chair day after day watching clouds pass. You don't realize they do it because anything more has become impossible. I don't want to reach that point if there's a better way. A better way? Then you have understood where others have not. It feels good to have someone understand. Come with me. We'll make our best effort. A reasonable amount of time later, Ruza meets up with Pal Baron. I've been talking with a carpenter from Enlana Bran, whatever that is. They're getting overwhelmed with people driven out of the surrounding regions by the Morthagi. Company of Thralls needs to help. I'm assuming you don't mean helping them build houses. As wholesome as that sounds, no. The shadows deepen. All monster groups will draw an extra monster card in every battle. Oh, that's cool. Look at how much more of the map we have now. Well, we have all this over here. Grassland, that's impossible. Ooh. Got stuff over here. Very nice. Hmm. Okay, well, what I'm going to do... Because it's already 4.30... And this is a pretty darn good place to stop. I'm going to have to do that recruit when we get back in. But anyways, or when I get back into this game. But we're going to go ahead and look for somebody to raid. So let me save and quit. I do want to look at my legacy just for a second because I want to see what's his name in there. That would be kind of cool to see him there. If it's going to load. And while it does that, oh, there it goes. We have Warder, Dago, Cadron. Oh, you're. Lullis, there's Grifkin. Very cool. And we have Crashlow, Grover, Palrin, Musty, Palbaran, Yuna, Macon, Wind. Very cool. Oh, there's some over here, too. Tandon. Very cool. Alrighty. 
Let's go back. And let's go find somebody to raid into. That's right, Rachel is alive. What is Rachel doing? Sims 4. Let's see who else may be doing something. She's working on her tiny house again, though. That might be fun to watch. Yeah, let's go see High Hill or Rachel. And let me get my raid messages up. Thank you, everybody who stopped by, who came out and hung out with me while I played this wonderful game. I will be live again tomorrow at 5 p.m., I plan on doing some Sims building because I have a project that is due the day after. So I will be doing that. Oh, and Helene, I love your storm cellar doors. I used it. I've been telling everybody about your tutorial, sending them over there to get it. And it just, it looks awesome. That's all I can say. I made a uh, storm cellar door. Um, for my lighthouse and it's perfect it works everything is great I just I'm so in love with it it's awesome so thank you very much for telling me about it because it made the build like complete it needed it so let me get up her stream so I can hear her when I get in there ah She's on cat cam. That's even better. Um, so we're going to go say hi. Everybody take care of yourselves. Again, I'll be back tomorrow evening. We'll see you then. Have a wonderful, wonderful post-stream snack. And once again, friends, go, go and check out Dabney.